Hey everyone, it's Melissa with the M Word. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have an eight year old, a three year old, and a two year old. My kids will be doing third grade, pre K, and a modified preschool this coming school year. And today is a collaboration with Devine from Calm in the Chaos and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And we are talking about our math curriculum picks for next year. So I'm just gonna overview all three of my kids on this video and then I'll do a more in-depth video on each grade level coming up soon once I have all my items. But for right now, this is what I have and this is my most likely plan. I just did a language arts one and a lot of it has changed already, so I apologize for that. The main things are still the same, like all about reading and stuff, but just so you know, there are a few different changes. Also, I do have a bit of a cold. Um, I have my water with me to try to make sure I can keep talking, but uh, if that's if you hear that, that's all that is. Um, my dishwasher is also going and making a ton of noise, and the pups, the pups are at the vet with Adam. As always, the bulk of our curriculum comes from Timberdoodle. I'll leave a link below to their website. You guys can check it out if you're interested in it. In the past, we have used um, teaching textbooks as well, but I do not plan on renewing that this year. So some things work for some families and just don't work for others. That's just the way it is. It worked for us in the time being, but long term going forward, I don't think it's going to work for us. But for preschool, the Timberdoodle kit comes with mathematical reasonings. My son does have that. He is working on it now. I will be getting a new copy of this book for my daughter this coming school year. Basically, math is supposed to be fun at this age. We don't want to make them hate math or anything like that. And I like that, so this is made by the Critical Thinking Company, Mathematical Reasoning. It's fun, it's engaging, it's a colorful book. Not any of those pages, apparently, sorry. I just ripped the pages out as my son does them. My daughter, she's currently two, she does do some of these with him right now, but I will get her her own book and she can start from the beginning. But so right now, my son has like, they did this page the other day and I didn't rip it out for some reason. Oh, because he didn't do the back page. Um, and then, so there's here, they're just, and then there's some of these fun ones, like the can you find me ones. And you'll find that can you find me a lot in the critical thinking STEM, the building thinking skills books. Um, there's a lot of these can you find me word problems in those ones, but simple tracing they're just they're fun they're engaging and i think they do a really good job at making it fun for the kids the other item that comes in the timber doodle kit so for the most part other than needing a new mathematical reasoning books i won't need anything from the preschool kit for my daughter because we have it already um the battle wolf game we love this game it's like a very fun version of war everybody gets a card the biggest dog wins i do have a review on this card because Timber Doodle did send these to me in exchange for my honest review. So there is a review of these on my channel. I will link it below so you guys can check it out if you want. But there's doggies in the back, the numbers in the front, and the bigger dog wins. We play this a lot with my son and my daughter and my two-year-old likes to play too. And then of course the farmland town and farm edition. I don't think I have town and farm edition. I think mine's just the farm one. It's the one from 2020. I believe it is different now. It does come with a farmland math book that I do not have up here. I have to go get that from downstairs. But in the new edition, it does come with like mini motors, but mine only comes with the farm animals. And I believe they're not even the same farm animals anymore. Um, they get them from learning resources, which this one is. These are the friendly farm counters, which is still what they give you, but it's a different looking container now. So we've got a sadly chewed up horsey here, um, but we have sheep and cows and another cow. We have a duck. I mean, there's there's a ton of things in here, all different colors. My kids love these. And then of course they have the mat to go with it. And I do need to go get the farmland book from downstairs so I can more properly use this with Emma. Um, I'm mostly going to mix Riker and Emma together. So anything Emma does, Riker will be doing with her. Um, and anything Riker does, I will be giving Emma something to at least do. So I should be able to get them both. I don't know. That's kind of my plan right now because right now they like to do everything the other one's doing. So that is my plan. And Emma is advanced for two. Um, I wouldn't call her, I mean, she just turned two on the 19th. So I mean, she, she can count. She knows her colors. She knows most of her shapes. She is trying to sound out words. 
Um, and I don't take that as like, I did something amazing or anything like that. She's just here with her brother and sister while they do school and she is learning along with them. And that's all it is. So I don't wanna push her too hard, but at the same time, I don't want her to get bored. So I decided to go ahead and just do a modified preschool with her. And the upside is, is I have a lot of it from my son. So there is that. So that is preschool. For pre-K, they also do the Mathematical Reasonings book. I do not have it yet. I have not yet ordered my kit, but they do beginning two. So this one's beginning one Mathematical Reasonings. He'll be doing beginning two Mathematical Reasonings. He will also have my first sticker by number book. So it'll be numbers and they have to put the stickers on each number is what that book is. I think my kids have done a similar book to that. If not one, that book, but we'll be getting him one. And Tiny Polka Dot. And Tiny Polka Dot works on um, counting, arithmetic, and logic. And they use little dots and they it, the game is for children as young as three. So I'm sure Emma can do it as well. And those are the three things I'll be using for preschool. Third grade, we will be continuing with Matthew C. So we will be, currently we're in towards the end of beta or right in the middle of beta, somewhere in there. So I do have Gamma already for her because I know she'll probably need it soon. Um, but we always tend to need the next one for the following grade, like right at the very end of our current year. So I actually have them ordered a year ahead so she can just keep going. Gamma, all they all come the same. They come from Timberdew, they come the same. They come with the instruction manual, which at first I didn't think was necessary, but as she's getting higher up, it's really nice to have the, the test and the lesson solutions in the back of the book of the teacher's manual. Also, somewhere in here is my Gamma code as well, which I don't currently see it. It also comes with the dvd lesson plans but i like to use the code and just go online and um listen to the video my daughter just listens to him teach i really don't know what my kids currently do with my code so i keep looking around like i'm gonna magically find it um, <laughs> this is the test book um i used to print these out or like take these out and save them but i've decided to just start letting my daughter write directly on these and um, buy the new textbook and student workbook as needed. And then of course, this is the student workbook. They have the grading sheet in the inside so you can keep track of grades. And then they have, so each lesson, there's lesson 1A and they have A through, through G. So lesson 1A, B, and C are all lesson practice. Lesson D, E, and F are systematic review. And then G is always application and enrichment. So G is always gonna be a lot harder and more difficult. Um, and usually I like the systematic review because it goes back a couple chapters as well over what the kids has learned this far. We always do lesson A, sometimes lesson B, and then we always do one or two of the systematic reviews. And then if the application and enrichment is something my daughter really wants to do, she will do that. And then we will do the test. And then inside the test is a test read chapter and then also unit tests along the way that'll go over all of it. So you'll know if your child is learning things and keeping up with things. The other two things that come with the Timber Judo 3rd grade kit are going to be Moby game. And I do have one from a previous year, but I do not know where it is at the moment. So I don't know if my kids have it or where it is. Um, and then the other thing is the wrap ups for multiplication. And I do have the addition and subtraction wrap ups from previous ones. So essentially, oh, you have start on 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Then 6 plus 1 is 7. 10 plus 1 is 11. 5 plus 1 is six one plus one is two and then you put it towards the end down here like this and then when you go on the back you can see that it is correct i don't know if it's gonna go but as you can see on these other ones it has these little ridges where it should go and as long as you line up then you know you got it correct one last thing i wanted to let you know matthew c does come with lots i just pull out a chunk so these are the hundred ones she just never uses these i pulled out four of them I'm sure she'll start to use them more. Um, but so far, I haven't needed the whole box. The box is stored above my son's um, dresser. And then I use an old wipe container. Like it has the thing in the top. 
and I just throw in like four or five of each piece all the way to ten. Um, if she's got two tens, two nines. I think I got two of everything in here. Eights, fives, except for like the smaller numbers. So like these bluer ones, she's got three of those. She's got three of the yellows. She's got like three of the pinks. Those are those are threes. Same for the twos, but then she's got like four of these green ones, but I think there was like five or six in there. This makes it so A, they don't lose as many pieces on me. And as like, if these get too low and she needs more, I just go grab a few more and drop them in here. But B, it also means I'm not having to try to like keep that whole big case worth of blocks in my school cabinet or trying to keep track of that many pieces. So 90% of our pieces are still tucked away. So I don't think I would ever need additional pieces for my other three kids because I think there's more than enough for them to share. Especially, I know some people say they get a new set for each kid, but honestly, my kids never seem to need that many of them. Um, what I'll need is to figure out where I got this wipe container at nine years ago and get two more of those. <laughs> that is how we keep our mathematic, our math, Matthew C blocks um, organized and where we can use them easily. But if you have any questions for me, that's what we have right now for our math for this coming school year. And I will talk to you guys next time. Oh. And don't forget to check out the playlist or Davine and Shauna's channels. If you like these kind of videos or want to see what we're going to be doing in the future, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button and I will talk to you guys next time.